Hi everybody! This is If Yarn Could Talk with Vicki and Asia. I'm the owner of Island Yarn and this is my daughter Asia. She does all of her our social media, video editing, and sometimes crocheting the howl. Ow. This is our Howl for Noro, but made into yep. a crochet version. Show them Yay. how pretty it is. Eh. She has eh. to finish her stitch. Okay. Isn't that coming out nice? It's, Ooh la la. It's color set one. It's so pretty. Ooh. It's nice. I like it. It is, uh, it, I've had um, the paranoia of the foof. Oh, so, the foof. Yes. The foof happens sometimes with Noro. Yes. With you yarn stranglers. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm innocent. I'm working on a rainbow advent box. <laughs> and I know uh, I teach you guys about being naughty knitters. Yeah, I was just going to say. And But I can justify it. I can also justify it for you if you need that service. But my justification... <laughs> Is so that you guys can see how pretty the rainbow box is. And I'm just about to get into the blues. But look how pretty. This is the crocheted scarf for our advent box this year. Ooh. Isn't it pretty? Wow. Oh, it's so fun. So you see, I, I had to do it early before advent so that you could see it. Yep. That's her reason. That's my reason. What's your justification for them? Oh, you know, it depends on the person. It's, oh, it's, okay. You know, it's very specific. So, you know, if you came in and you were like, I really want to start my advent box, you'd be like, well, how you doing this year? How you doing this year? Come on, work with me here. Work with me. <laughs> Tell me you've had a rough year. It's been rough. You know, you deserve it. You should just go ahead and start. You can always do another one when advent rolls around. Like, it's such a fun surprise. You deserve it. So, like, there's one. Okay. <laughs> Depends on the person, you know? Yeah. Somebody else might be traveling in December, and then, you know, it's kind of hard to juggle all the little boxes, so you might have to do it early. Oh, I can I can come true. up with justifications. I can make you all naughty maybe, for a reason. Maybe you want to uh, give your Advent project to someone. It's true. Gift. It's true. And, like, if you got the Christmas colors, you might want to wear it to some holiday parties in December. And mm -hmm. You'd want to have it blocked and everything. Right. If you're only a quarter of the way through it, when the party starts, like, that's probably not going to be great. Mm -hmm. Probably not going to work out. So, see, there's all sorts of justifications. <laughs> or just the simple. You want to. Girl math. I mean, I feel like all this is a little bit girl math. Yeah. Yeah. It's the it's the overarching <laughs> theme. All right. Well, anyway, so there's the rainbow. I I will probably finish this by the next podcast. So I'll show you. I'm up to box twelve. I'm gonna start box twelve. So I'm like halfway through, which means the rest is it is gonna be all like blues and purples, and that'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. My more favorite end of the rainbow. Yeah, it's it's nice that you start there. Yeah. So that you can, like, really look forward to what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. So, Asia, of course, will leave a link. Mm hmm They are running really low. Three of the color sets, rainbow, jewel, and surprise. Uh, neutral. Neutral are very, very low. Surprise Me and Christmas are still doing okay. And Surprise Me is really fun. And Christmas is fun if you love Christmas colors. So, yeah. That's our, that's our adventy news. Yep. <clears throat> if you hear any rustling... It might be the little elves making your... There's, 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 there's some elves making the advent boxes. <laughs> uh, so this week, since we are wrapping up, putting together our advent stuff, we finally have some new stuff. We have new Mad Balls again. Yes. We're finishing off our Jewel Tony batch. Yes. And we should be talking about blues this time, but we have a bunch of other stuff to talk about. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be your little blue sneak peek. Don't be too blue about it. And don't be too blue. So this is number 454. Isn't it pretty? Mm. Ooh, that's a night sky yeah. mad ball if I ever seen one. Yeah, that one's so pretty. Ooh, that like gold, the black gold coming through. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Yeah. 
That's very like, I feel like it's giving like winter night. Yeah. We also had a new kit for the season. A new kit for holidays. And it's this cute little festive stocking. Isn't okay. this so cute? It has a little trim of lights. Look at them. And they're on a little string so you just slip stitch crochet mm -hmm. them into the garter edge. It's so cute. Yeah, they're they're in there. They're not like just like hanging there. They're in there. So cute. It's really, it's really quick to make. It's made with Juniper Moon Farm Big Merino Wool or Miracell Yusha. And it's just really fast. So like if you have, you know, sometimes you get a new addition to your family, either a baby or a son-in-law, daughter-in-law. A cat. A cat it would be great for a cat. You could fit a lot of cat toys in there. Mm -hmm. But I also just really think it's fun to like wrap presents in them. Like to give them to friends. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you so love cute. that if like one of your friends gave you your gifts all in a stocking? Yeah, that would be cute. It'd be so fun. And then you don't have to waste the wrapping paper because, you know, that's no good. Mm -hmm. The little lights are so, like, they're really charming. So adorable. <laughs> I have, I'm a little obsessed with these lights because they're so cute. Yeah, they are. They're like, like really colorful. Mm -hmm. sure. And they match the... Yes. The colors there, like, perfectly. That might have been yeah. intentional. So we made kits so that you don't have to buy all these colors individually and buy six skeins of yarn for one stocking. So you get a little... Hee 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 hee. A little baggie with all the little samples and the lights. And of the course. Lights. Of we're course. not going to not send you the lights and then your regular ball. Oh, and we're also... We wanted to let you guys know we're doing a little holiday... Did we say this in the last one? Mm. Doing a little holiday party. So. On yes, December 3rd. After the parade in Maynard, so you should come. It's going to be really fun. Mm -hmm. We are doing Secret Santa, and I just have to tell you guys, there's some hilarious stuff. Just, just a couple little. Yeah. Yeah. We had all every, anonymous. Yeah, all anonymous. We had people fill out little info sheets. You know, just like what you'd like, mm -hmm. what you might be allergic to, what you, you actually want don't want. Yep. Yep. And um, just, just. There were a couple of responses that were <laughs> so hilarious we had to Wanted share Wanted to share it with you guys. Yeah. So if you're, if you're, I'm going to say if you're getting a gift for anybody, maybe don't give them mold because, yep. you know, somebody might be allergic to it. <laughs> or ragweed. I don't, I don't think you should give that. I definitely don't want <laughs> ragweed. So ragweed. whoever got me. Definitely don't want that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I mean, the last real killer one was, um, I mean, I don't think you should give people um, people cutting their nails in public. That's not a gift you should give. No. I no. don't. Yeah. Don't bring nail clippers to the party, please. No. And somebody else um, really, really does not want bobbleheads. Mm. I would say that is also across the board. Those things are so dumb. Yeah, I also <laughs> find them fairly creepy. They they yeah. verge on the line of dolls to me, and I just I don't like anything. And, right, that... and they slightly move, which makes them creepier. Yeah, because you know, they're always just like. And the other, we're very thematic. I feel like it's a very Christmassy episode. Sorry, but it's you know that time. It's time. So a lot the of festivities. <laughs> a lot of people got advent boxes last year, mm -hmm. and. A lot of people come in Asia and ask me like if I want their empty boxes back to reuse them, and you know you know how I am. You know I want to say yes. Yeah. But I don't because it's not actually like how we build them. Right. But I also it like hurts my soul to think that you might just throw them away and not reuse them. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have we have some little thoughts and we're gonna brainstorm even a little more right mm -hmm. about what you could do with these boxes to reuse yes. them. So, I've got some stuff. So obviously, I mean, the theme of this whole thing is they are great little gift boxes. Yeah. And if you're, maybe you're going to have a party, mm -hmm. you could make them, you know how kids always get like little treat bags? Party favors. Right. You could make like a little adult treat bag out of this. Mm -hmm. like, put a little candy, put a little... What else do I have in here? Put a little ornament. Ooh. And put a goofy little stocking. And you could just have them, like, by the door so that when people leave, they get a cute little gift. Mm -hmm. Or you could put the 
the boozy chocolates. You could get some boozy chocolates. This would also be super cute, though, like at your workplace, if you just had like a desk and you just had a basket of them. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, like some people will have candy on their desk. You could keep this on your desk. And when somebody's having a bad day, give them a little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you could also fit in them our little candles. Ah! <laughs> little yarn ball candles that, is that we so make here. Cute. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it just fits perfectly. Yeah. That's adorable. Oh my god. So that would be a cute bonus gift for somebody. Yeah. Um, you can also like decorate them and paint them yeah. if you want. Yeah, and like you can get little I know they have numbers on them, so you can either get stickers or like a little bow. <laughs> that little bow is so cute. But, <laughs> so maybe some of you have cats and you give your friend a gift but you don't want to leave the cat out so you can <laughs> make the bonus gift a little, a little cat toy Yay. tell us if your cat just went wild when he heard that <laughs> i know we're gonna take this up also your cat might open these um there are some of you out there that say your cats are quite aggressive about the advent boxes yes um so yeah, especially if you threw some catnip in there. I don't know how well they'd survive, but you no. have you you would have have used them well. Right? Yeah. I mean, you use them to their full potential, and you don't have to reuse them anymore. Those are the rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if joy is had by both you and your cat, yeah, then you've reused it. That's true. So yeah, that's a really good way to do it. What else? Oh, you could you could you know put a big gift in there. You could put jewelry in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any jewelry that could go in there, Asia? Oh, let me see. <laughs> I believe that we might have some right behind us here. Let's see. Which one would you like to gift, Mom? Yep, that's okay. the one. Purple hanger. Ah, oh, a whole set. A little mm. tissue paper in there. Mm. Yeah. Look how perfect it is. Put another chocolate in there. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. The things full of chocolates. Beautiful. And it's also really good if you are stuffing somebody's stocking and you have something more precious like that and you want to protect it, that's a good way. Yep. Yep. If you have like something that's like small and maybe mm -hmm. like glass or something like yeah. that, you could definitely throw it in there. Yeah. Or just anything kind of small. You could just Didn't like. get lost. Mm hmm Yeah. Cookies. Cookies, yep. I was going to get cookies. I'm sorry, I had so many little things in mind. I also thought you could do tea, but honestly, they're a little small for most, like, tea, tea pre-packaged tea sachets. Well. But if you got a little jar and filled it with loose, loose tea, tea, that would be, like, super cute. Yeah. Just a tiny little jar of, like, your favorite loose tea for mm -hmm. your friend. That's what I did for Christmas one time. I made um, small individual bags that were, like, maybe, like, two three cups worth of tea that were like special mixtures that i made yeah. yeah that's so cool it was fun so i highly recommend it if you want to do that yeah and then you can use up all your little boxes you could put some washi tape oh yeah if you have like somebody who likes to journal yep little crafting supplies perhaps little beads Mm -hmm. Little buttons. Charms. And this be so cute, just filled with buttons. <laughs> Especially all these pretty ones that you got back here. Yeah. They're so cute. So many buttons. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you have crafty people, like, reusing this should be very easy. And mm -hmm. it would be so cute if you did put washi tape in it. If you, like, decorated it with washi tape. Oh! Washi double tape washi tape. Really cute, actually, around these. Mm -hmm. And then... You wouldn't necessarily have to put a bow. You could just do like a border around with the washi tape. And then so cute. the number wouldn't show. Yeah. So cute. I think I'm going to make some little mini gifts. Mm -hmm. Just give them to people randomly when they have a bad day. Mm. Be cute. Yeah. It's a good thing to do. We should like do more like good karma stuff like that. Because I feel like people are crazy out there in the world. You find that, Asia? Uh, yeah, as a consensus, yeah. generally. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I don't know. Oh, no. I think we're all going to have to put some more good karma out there and hope that maybe people get a little less crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's our plan. Um. So, little gifts for somebody when they've had a bad day. I mean, that's really nice, isn't it? When, like, something unexpected, when you just feel like your day is crap and then you either 
get something or something nice happens that's totally unexpected, it can totally mm -hmm. turn your day around. Yes. yes sometimes indeed. it's really soft yarn, but sometimes it's, you know, a present for your cat. <laughs> or it could be a little bit of soft yarn. A little bit of soft yarn. <laughs> yeah. You could make, you could definitely make cute amigurumi and put them in here. Oh, definitely. Like, like a little amigurumi so succulent or a little creature. A cat, perhaps, for the tiny cardboard box. Oh, cats do love boxes. They love their boxes. And you could put catnip in the cat, and then it could also be a toy for your cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so meta at this point. It's a cat in a box for your cat in a box. Mm -hmm. You have to get a bigger box for the cat, too. Right. <laughs> You should definitely, if you make an amigurumi cat, make it so that it just barely fits. Like your cats <laughs> like to be with boxes. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> sort of bursting out the sides a little bit. That's what ours do, at least. Yeah. Like to tear down the walls of those boxes. They like eh? to tear down the walls. You know, they're very, they're activists, really. That's what's going on there. Yeah, they're trying to recycle. <laughs> oh, man. So... That's a lot of, a lot of, whoa, you got a new idea? What? If you have some incense cones mm. that you want to give a mixture of incense cones, they would be fantastic for that. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I just feel like there's way more things. There are so many things. Like, I started writing them down, and I lost that list. <laughs> but... There were, there's just so many things that you can make tiny little gifts out of mm -hmm. to just make somebody's day. You know, like, unless you do jewelry or something, this is probably not going to be, like, your gift to somebody. But a little gift topper, like a little bonus gift topper, so cute. Mm -hmm. So cute. Or a gift for somebody you don't necessarily give gifts to. But yeah. It's just, like you said, at the workplace. Yeah, just a charming little At a school cheer. thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's another idea. You know, when you have kids that get to be this age or older, a lot of people just descend into giving them a check, giving them money. But I don't know, like, it's it always feels boring, even though it may be exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. I know I've done a lot of origami with bills or tried to, like, <laughs> put things in weird packages so they seem more fun to open. But yes. This would be a great way to do that. Mm -hmm. You can just put like five bucks in every single one and make them open all of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or like different ones. Could definitely use it for one of those pranks. You know, have you seen those pranks where someone like wraps like a tiny, tiny little gift in this like super, super intricate like looking thing? Yeah. And then they like have to keep unwrapping it and keep unwrapping it and keep unwrapping it. <laughs> How funny would it be if the box was actually this small <laughs> and there was something in it? Because I feel like a lot of times it's like, oh, it's a gift card. Right. It would be hilarious if there was like an actual tiny gift a candle, in it. A tiny little candle. A tiny little candle. Yeah, it's great for the inside of one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wrap it up a million times. Anyway, so that's a lot of ideas, you guys. So I, I think you'll be able to use your boxes. What do you think? Yeah. And let us know if you have other ideas in the yeah. comments. I bet you'll have other ideas. Oh my gosh, we still have to do the shawl showdown. Yes, yes, we do. This mm -hmm. is round three, and our contenders this time are. This is gonna be a tough one, but I figured they were kind of similar, but now we'll know who reigns supreme. This is. This is impressionist. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is made with two different colors of Noro Subami. Isn't it pretty? so pretty yeah and it's humongous it's, it's like really a blank you it's, love it yeah it's really big <laughs> so yeah this is impressionist very pretty and number two is our grande dragon scales you know another we love dragon very big scales one. this is made with two Whoa! different colors Whoa! of amatola grande look at that i love this one that was nice what do you think asia this week Oof, this one, you know, it's so cold now, like, I'm gonna go with this one, because to me it just feels a little warmer, and it's got some purple in it, which makes me happy, yeah. so, to me, this guy, but... I love these both so much, but I also have to say that I always go back to this one as one of my all-time favorites, mm. but I don't want to influence your decision, you choose independently, so this one is Grande Dragon Scales, 
or impressionist leave Woo. a comment below so we yeah. know who wins and make sure you leave your comment on this video on this video vote. yes yep. that's right yeah and i think that's it we just uh have to figure out what that yarn would say it's the only one sitting here oh wow well it says like a lot of things it could say like it, it could be singing the Christmas songs. <laughs> it could be singing Silent Night. Silent night, holy night. <laughs> yeah, that. Um, or, you know, something less stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I we were talking about one of them being very northern lightsy, and I also think mm -hmm. this one is like that. Take me to Alaska. Yeah, it's like, I belong in the Arctic Circle. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I just found out that the northern lights are going to be at like a very high peak next year. So oh. start planning your trips. That's what this one's saying. Start planning your northern lights trips. Right. Otherwise, this is the only northern lights you'll be seeing as a magic. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> let's go to good. Scotland. <laughs> Okay. okay. We're going to go to Scotland. So <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Yeah, so we'll take this mad ball and we'll be in Scotland. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And if you like the video, then hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. Hit the notifications bell if you want to be notified when we post a video. Mm -hmm. And um, leave your questions if you have any down in the comments. And next week we're talking about blues. Yep. We won't supersede it with other talk, but we had other things to do this week. It's true. Yeah. So. You love these. Yeah. We know you do. We know you do. So much fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.